Hey everyone, Richard from Digital Foundry here checking out budget GPU performance for Just Cause 3. Now we've already given you a preview of our tests here where we've stacked up our in-house budget PC against the consoles and achieved pretty good results overall with improved visual quality. A decent turnout for the GTX 750Ti but the question is this, how does AMD's R7 360 stack up and what about the R7 370 and the GTX 950? Throughout this performance test we'll be running the game on our budget setup which features a Core i3 4130 dual core processor matched up with 8 gigs of 1600MHz DDR3. In terms of quality settings we're effectively maxed out with just a couple of modest reductions. To begin with we're dropping anisotropic filtering down from 16x to 8x, SMAA T2x gets cut down to straight SMAA, while shadow quality is reduced a notch from very high to high. And guess what, in a straight comparison the R7 360 is clearly the faster card compared to the GTX 750 Ti. The stuttering issue that affects other AMD cards is present but it's nowhere near as pronounced as it is elsewhere and we suspect that it may well be the case that the issue manifests at overall higher frame rates, something that isn't really an issue on a budget card. Generally we get a pretty smooth run across all of our test clips. Final results reveal a 12% advantage to the AMD card with frame rates hitting a 33.3 FPS average versus 29.7 on Nvidia. Even the lowest recorded frame rates are tipped towards AMD here with Just Cause 3 handing in a 24 FPS result up against 23 FPS on the GTX 750Ti. Of course we don't have overclocking factored in here where the 750Ti has an advantage and it's also a shame that there's no way we can lock AMD performance to 30 FPS with properly frame paced VSync or indeed half rate adaptive. Still the turnout isn't bad at all considering the quality settings we have in play here and there's plenty of tweakability available in the presets that give back a good level of performance without killing visual quality. So it's interesting to note the AMD advantage here but as we move up to the next performance tier the situation changes radically. Here's the R7 370 up against Nvidia's freshly minted GTX 950. The AMD card is based on 3 year old silicon originally released as the Radeon HD 7850. Now we've heard a few reports of people running the 7850 or its sister card, the 7870, and having problems with Just Cause 3. And based on the showing here we can see why. Essentially physics, explosions and any form of intense action really cause some pretty poor stutter here, though basic traversal across the island looks okay. Stats here are predictably one-sided, with GTX 950 offering a 45 FPS average up against 35.4 on the 370, while minimum frame rates also show a large differential, 23 FPS for AMD and 35 FPS for Nvidia. It's interesting to note that we do see some very occasional stutter on the Nvidia side too and we suspect that in really intense action we may well be hitting CPU limits. It's not so evident with the lower tier of hardware, the GTX 750Ti and the R7 360 perhaps because the GPU is much more of an overall bottleneck there. Anyway, hope you found this video useful. As always you can help us out with a like and remember to subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos. Thanks for watching.